Swift and Tips Podcast. Okay, and let's say that I already choose uh, Firebase as my option, right? Mm -hmm. I want to start, you know, integrating it in my project. How should I start? <laughs> Yeah, so um, maybe we can uh, we we can do that. So uh, let me uh, let me open up um, a window here, and then I can uh, quickly show you how you would do that. Uh, sure, so present. that would be great. And by the way, if, if you are listening this podcast because we are also on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, uh, we will describe what is going on here. Although we recommend for this one to watch it on YouTube. Yeah, and okay, cool. And <laughs> so let's see. Um, there we go. Okay, cool. So um, I've, I'm in my window here, and let me hide my bookmarks. Well, you probably or not. Doesn't matter. Okay, so go to firebase.com, mm -hmm. And um, you end up on our landing page, and then go to console, and this is where you have all your um, your projects. And you can see that I've got a couple of projects here. So the first thing to do is create a new project. You can give it a name, um, Pit and Pete. I like that name. And then, <laughs> yeah, we should. Yeah, maybe we should start a project. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can anyway. you can you can adjust your um, your project ID down here. So uh, apparently nobody else had this idea before. Um, but if, for example, if I wanted to set up um, a, um, a pro production project and a testing project, I could go in and say, okay, so this is my production project, or this is my testing project, or my staging project, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so let's okay. call it uh, my development project here, and then continue. And then you can decide whether or not you want to use Google Analytics. It powers some of our um, features like A-B testing um, and um, some features in Crashlytics. So um, if, you, if you want to use those features, uh, leave it on. If not, you can turn it off. Mm -hmm. And then it takes a few moments to provision the project. So in the back end, it sets up your Google Cloud project and um, gets everything ready for you. And then uh, in a couple of seconds, we should be in the console. And that will. I I have to confess that go. I haven't used Firebase for, uh, I used it in, in uh, some years ago. But now uh -huh. I'm seeing the console, and this looks pretty clean. Yeah. Yeah. That. So we, we've uh, we've worked on it quite a bit. So uh, you know, one of the things that has changed is that we now support dark mode, right? So mm -hmm. everybody loves dark mode. Yeah. Um, so here we are, and um, on the left hand side, you can see um, the different products. So for example, here we have um, cloud functions, or we have storage, we have hosting. Um, here is authentication, Firestore. Um, if you go into the Run tab, you'll see things like A-B testing or Crashlytics, um, remote config. And then in the analytics parts, you have stuff like, um, yeah, this is mostly um, all of these are analytics, uh, different aspects of it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then um, down here, you see um, the level that your project is on. We only have two plans. One is Spark. That is the no-cost plan. It doesn't cost anything. And then if you want to upgrade, you can upgrade to Blaze. And that is a pay-as-you-go plan. And I can connect that to my billing account. Okay. Um, so, so one thing, um, if you are curious about how expensive stuff might get, you can go to the Firebase calculator, which has this nice modeling here. And you can go in and you can say, all right, so on the left, on, on the left column, you see the, the no cost plan, and the right column is the pay as you go plan. And for example, if you are interested in um in let's say what 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 should we look at? But when you when you say pay as you go, that means depending on the number of requests that you got for Yeah. So for example, if um let's let's look at Firestore. So mm -hmm. if you use Cloud Firestore, which is a NoSQL database, um, 
This is what is at no cost. So you get 600,000 writes at no cost. You okay. get 1.5 million reads at no cost. And if you go beyond that, uh, it will, you know, get slightly more expensive and you can model that. So, you know, um, and then you can decide, so how many writes am I probably going to cause using, using my, uh, my application? And this is on a monthly basis here. And then you can model the cost of your application. So oftentimes people ask me, hey, you know, can I connect Cloud Firestore to uh, core data, for example? And my first question is, why do you want to do that? And the mm -hmm. answer is for caching. And then I'll say, well, Firestore has a cache. So it already does the caching for you. And then it turns out people want to save costs. And my next question would be, well, how many document reads and writes do you think you'll get in a month? And put this into the calculator and figure out if the cost that you have actually is worth the pain of implementing your own synchronization between <laughs> uh, um, Cloud Firestore and yep. uh, Core Data, right? So, and, and usually it's not, and to be honest, once you have so many users that you have you know, you actually need to start paying for it. That's probably a good problem to have, right? Because many users mean that you can probably charge them something, right? And then, you know, uh, that's probably the moment when you when you should implement um, a uh, you know a subscription into your app. All right. I, I have one question about the pricing. Sure. If you are, are in the in the free plan, and mm -hmm. but let's say you 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 got the maximum amount of requests or writes or reads. Mm -hmm. into the, the, the current plan. What will happen there? Uh, are, we, are you going to stop, you know, uh, how can I call it, receiving requests for your service or it will be translate, uh, transferring to the Blaze plan, the paid plan? No, we, uh, so it will not upgrade to the uh, Blaze plan because that, that would require that we somehow were able to guess your billing instrument, which we, mm -hmm. which we can't. <laughs> Um, so if you have more than the free number of reads and writes, there is probably a grace um, area where we're like, all right, so you know the service will continue operating for a little bit, but then it will essentially return an error. So okay. you 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 get an error back, and then uh, you know that's the moment when your your users might start complaining, and that's when okay. you realize, oh, you know maybe I need to switch to the place plan. Okay, but you you got that notifications from Fiverr saying, "Hey, yeah, yeah." You, so you... Um, there, there'll be a notification. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's good. Great. Cool. So, and then when you want to connect your application here, um, then you go into uh, this area here, and so uh, let's actually do that. Um, so um, I'm, uh, oh, not that one. Uh, let's go here, and then let's create a new project. Uh, here we go. So let's create an iOS app, Pete and oh, Pit and Pete. <laughs> <laughs> I love. I think it's the first time someone is is doing a live demo. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let, let's see how it goes. Uh, okay, <laughs> so let's uh, use Swift UI, Swift, and um, yeah, this is fine. Um, mm -hmm. And then go uh, to next. I'm going to be a pig and store this directly on my on my desktop. Mm -hmm. um, all right, and this is what I I also yeah. have the, oh, the, the I I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! The, the okay. question of so, keep X conversion of either disk, so it's <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. So uh, so I want to quit this one here. X, X code okay. is, you know, <laughs> acting as S code in live demos. <laughs> okay. So, oh, you know what? Like, I'm going to close this project here. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, here we are. Okay. Yeah. So, um, store it here. Okay. Here we go. So, we've got our nice little project. So, now I can grab the um, the bundle ID because that is what we need next. So go here, copy that, and then go back into the Firebase 
console and paste the bundle ID here. I can leave the nickname and I don't need the app store ID yet because uh, that's only uh, interesting later on. So mm -hmm. I'll register my application here. And in a moment, I should get um, a configuration file. So this plist file. And I'll click to download this. Mm -hmm. And um, OK, let's place it on the desktop for a moment. And then I can take this and drag it into Xcode and put it. So I usually put it where the assets catalog is. Um, so in, in the most recent version of, of Xcode, you, mm -hmm. you can no longer see the line where it inserts things because they have switched from groups to folders, which is it's, it's so radical, isn't it? Um, <laughs> so I'll, I'll paste it here. And okay. uh, tell it to copy the file to the destination to make sure it ends up in my project. And there we go. So looking okay. at the path here, yeah, it's in my project. So looking okay. at this file, you see a couple of things. So the most important thing is this uh, this identifier here, and that is um, your your. It's called an API key, but it's more of a project identifier. And a couple of other things, for example, your project ID is here, and that. Um, establishes the connection between your project and your between your Xcode project and your Firebase project. So now coming back to the console, next step, it tells you, hey, you know, if you use the Swift package manager, here is the package that you want to uh, put into your application. So go mm -hmm. back here, say we want to add a package dependency, paste the thing that we copied into this um into the search bar and then we can already see the readme file at the package and now it needs to download the package and a couple of dependencies which might take a moment because as i said 20 projects uh 20 products mm -hmm. so they're yeah. all in the sdk are all of them necessary i mean i mean let, let's say that i just want a specific needs or let's say uh, a database uh it is required to download all the package anyway? Um, so you will only integrate the specific features into your application, but it um, downloads the entire SDK. And um, so here you can actually see that, right? So I see mm -hmm. all the different um, products, <clears throat> and then I can choose which one of them I want to use, right? So let's say we want to use Firestore. I can say, well, I want to use, I want to add that library to this target here. And um, auth is also a nice one. So add it here and then add package and that's it. Okay. So now it will resolve the packages. And if you look at the target configuration, you can see that um, in the overview, in a general tab, it added the libraries here. Nice. So if, if later on I decide, oh, you know what? Um, I also want to use Cloud Functions. I can go in and say, okay, so where are my functions? And mm -hmm. then boom, there you are. And now you have access to Cloud Functions. Great. Okay, so we've added the SDK. Next step is add the initialization code. So there are two ways to do this. And this is the, the more correct way to do this, to use a UI application delegate. Because for Firebase Cloud Messaging, we need to do some twizzling to inject ourselves in the application launch process to make sure that we can receive notifications in the background. If we mm -hmm. didn't do that, we would have to ask the developers to implement this initialization code themselves. And back then, we thought, oh, that's going to be a lot of work. People will not like that. So we decided to use Swizzling and uh, do this um, kind of like magically in the background. And that is why you need to have an application delegate because that is what we're looking for. But if you don't use um, uh, Firebase Cloud Messaging, you can just go in and say, well, you know what? Um, I just use uh, Cloud Firestore, for example. And then you can go into your, mm -hmm. oh, and sorry, you know, uh, I'm, I'm a two spaces indent guy. Uh, so you have your your initializer here, and then Firebase app dot configure, and of course you also need to import Firebase here, and that should be it. So now, oh, really? when you launch this application, um, 
it will initialize Firebase um, okay. as soon as the app launches and then connect to your project using this configuration file here. So this might take a moment because uh, I'm streaming and <laughs> compiling at the same time. <laughs> no, no problem. Could you go back to the, what, what is the recommended with uh, app delegate in the-, in the Yeah, one? this one. Yeah. yeah so, so- Okay. So basically, uh, if you wanted to do that, I mean, let, let's do it. So uh, I'll copy this and then mm -hmm. I'll put it here. Um, it, it, is there any concern? Oh, it wants to run on my phone. Okay. Is there any concern if you want to, I mean, not use an app delegate and just go straight uh, from the init? Um, not really. I mean, the, the only thing, so let me copy that. Okay. I always forget where to put it like this. Okay. So there is no real concern. Mm -hmm. The only thing that might happen is that you'll see a log statement that says it was not able to find um, the application delegate or that the main application class does not conform to UI application delegate. Okay. But that is all. So okay. um, if you if you want to do it the super correct way, do it this way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good to know. Okay. So um, it tried to launch on my phone. Um, so let's launch it on, on the simulator. I mean, we won't be seeing anything interesting because it's just like a, a plain normal content view here. Mm -hmm. um, but but it's just a, that's it, right? So you, we have already Firebase in the app. Yeah, exactly. So, and then when you click next, it's a, it'll say, yeah, you're ready. And then go to the <laughs> console and that's it. And so now what you'll notice, you will have this, uh, this additional piece up here in the console and you can, uh, you, you see the name and if, if I had provided a nickname, I'd be able to uh, to see the nickname here on this chip, and then I can click on the cork, and it will take me to that um, configuration, and I can see all of the configuration details that are relevant for my for my um, for my iOS um, project here. So one thing um, to keep in mind: let's assume that we build an application, and um, we also want to have an Android application, or mm -hmm. maybe even a web application, you can put all of these into the same Firebase project. So what you would do is you would go back to the main console page and then click here on this Add App button, and then you would pick Android, for example, and then you know you go through the same flow. Um, you provide your package name and then the, um, your your SHA one. Mm -hmm. and then register your, your application, and then you get um, a different configuration file that you put into your Android project, and that's it. And now you've got an Android project and an iOS project in the same Firebase project. So um, if you have a multi-platform project running on different platforms, always do that. Just have one Firebase project and connect mm -hmm. all of your client apps to the same Firebase project so they can use all the same data, all the same analytics, all the same crash analytics. We'll be able to separate um, this from another. So for example, if, if your Android app has crashes, they will, um, you'll be able to tell them apart from your, from your iOS crashes. So no <laughs> worries about that. Okay. Okay. So um, yeah. Okay, it's still loading. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh my goodness. Um, we got something. Okay, so something. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, I oh, think oh. because you, you are duplicating the. Yeah, uh, because, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, I need to okay. do this. Yeah. <laughs> that's good to know. That will happen if you, if you do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so for people listening, what happened was um, because I also added the application delegate based initialization i had a duplicate duplicate call to firebase app.configure um, so mm -hmm. let me show it again for people who are watching so this part here was basically the same as here and we only must have that once so uh, remove one or the other and then we're fine right and now right. we can start using um, using uh, all the firebase products and connect to the database for example <laughs>